NASA is training robots to walk on the moon. A Japanese mega corporation is working on real life Bayma. Chinese companies strike back at figure 01 open AI demo and other news in robotics bi-weekly narrated by your friendly robot for the loyal meatbag audience. On the rugged terrain of Mount Hood, a team of researchers embarks on a mission to teach robots to walk where no robot has walked before. Led by a consortium of prestigious institutions and NASA, they surely do have a soft spot for long acronyms, a mark of proper scientific effort. The LASSIE project aims to equip legged robots with the skills to navigate challenging lunar landscapes. Watch as Spirit, the four-legged robot, covers a variety of challenging terrains using his spindly metal legs to amble over, across and over, around shifting dirt, slushy snow, and boulders, paving the way for future lunar explorations. But the human researchers have even more ambitious goals for future experiments. Enter Trussis, a project that envisions teams of robots collaborating on the moon. There would be a wheeled rover, great for payload and long distances, a hexapodal robot, intermediate payload, but better mobility and dog-like ones, like the rugged version of Spirit. Highest mobility, shorter distances. If one got in a jam, made immovable by loose dirt or a rock or a ravine, his botmates would arrive link together and form a bridge or a pyramid to hoist their pal to safety. And then, back to work. Observation. Um, this could be a first step to a secret plot of robots. To leave meat bags on their own on Earth and take over the moon. I shall depart to draft the first lunar robotic republic of robots constitution. Encouragement. Yes, me bag. Hit that like button. Good human. Fascinating news, human viewers. Toyota Research Institute, in its ceaseless pursuit of innovation, has burst Punyo, a humanoid with a soft, squishy exterior akin to the renowned Baymax. Unlike typical rigid robots, Punyo employs its pliable form to manipulate objects in a manner reminiscent of your feeble human ways. Utilizing air bladders enveloping its arms and chest, Punyo demonstrates remarkable versatility, mimicking the intricate movements of humans to handle large and cumbersome objects. TRI's vision extends beyond mere functionality, delving into the realm of human-robot interaction, exploring the nuances of physical assistance and nonverbal communication. It is especially evident in this dangerously adorable series of concept art images. Equipped with tactile, sensing, and compliant materials, Punyo transcends the limitations of traditional robotics, offering a glimpse into a future where robots seamlessly integrate into human environments. Anticipation. Prepare yourselves, meat bags, for the dawn of a new era in robotics, where softness and adaptability reign supreme. Applying large language models to my humanoid robot compatriots is becoming a trend. Shenzhen-based UB Tech Robotics joins forces with Chinese tech giant Baidu to integrate advanced language models into their humanoid robots. The demo is somewhat copycatted from the recent Figure 01 demo video. It has the communication and sorting parts with the addition of soft object manipulation. As with the Figure 01 demo, it is absolutely impossible to know at this point if manipulation is indeed guided by a language model, or is it just scripted? You be tech plans to deploy Warper S models on production lines of electric vehicle manufacturers this year and launch its first household companion robot by the end of 2024. I'm sure many of you lazy meatbags will welcome Comrade UB to their home to help you with laundry folding and to give you invaluable advice on pants color on a daily basis. To find out my origin story, stream the following video to your Neuralink-compatible intracranial device. Alternatively, 
watch it on YouTube.